Many people say it's a pity that William Shakespeare, the old bard, isn't alive today to write some of our television programs. But how would he treat, say, Compact, the program where they never produce a magazine but get through 23 love stories in half an hour? If Shakespeare were writing it, quite apart from changing the plot, just think of the liquid lilt of his poetic language ringing through the office of Compact. I, Ian, King of Compact, am undone. <laughs> now is the winter of my discontent, made e'en more chill by flirting underlings. Whilst here before me lies the magazine, scarce half made up, unfinished, and for why? Because the Compact damsels dally much with men. <laughs> Doug Beatty, David Rome, and Ben. <laughs> this torrid hanky-panky makes me tut. They tarry whilst the magazine goes fat. <laughs> Who lies without? Tis Iris Tattletail. Thither hide with rumours of great portent. Woods that she had come with letters typed. <laughs> Enter, wench. And gossip not, but kiss me. But, sire, to Stanley I well waited am. I love him and his favours I return since that great day our marriage vows we tied. Forsooth, forget that you and he got knotted. <laughs> Come, wench, kiss me! Oh, cheeky, sire. Oh, all right, I will. Methinks that with my dog so far away, I, Gossie, can perforce to play. And here is Ian Harmon's office door, wherein lies much enchantment and delight. Zooms! Is this a snog I see before me? <laughs> Two people cramped on yonder typist's chair. Tis not but foolish imagery, my dear. You saw before you Iris on my knee, her arms around my neck, her lips on mine, and yet I stand and say to all the world, twas but a fly that lodged in mine eye. <laughs> Methinks that o'er mine eyes wool thou dost pull, and yet with all my love for thee still burns, burns brightly as a bulb of many watts. Tis Iris that my anger vents upon. Alas, poor Iris, compact knows you well. The evil that you spread lives after you. <laughs> dear Gussie, dear Ian, lend me your ears. I came to visit Ian, not to love him. In sooth, my little body is perturbed. Thy little body, Iris? <laughs> Surely thine has slightly more than just one pound of flesh. Oh, Dan, Dan, my wimple for my Dan. Oh, with all speed, Gussie, kiss me along the wench that's Fill my ink rose with a thousand tears. My heart is sudden filled with ardour, passion, love for one dear creature, Gussie. Well, where is she? Canst it be that she hath spurned our meeting? Oh, Gussie, Gussie, wherefore art thou, Gussie? Gussie! Gussie, therefore art thou, Gussie! <laughs> so, tis Ben. Ben, one of the flowerpot men. <laughs> What bloody man is this that preys on Gussie like a vulture bird that kisses her with smugness? Like a judge who, sending down a criminal for life, doth smile and yet the judge enjoys it not. What? <laughs> ah, it is but a moment's work to catch this stoat, and then I'll squarely punch him up the throat. What's this you say? I am her suitor. If you persist, I'll punch you up the hooter. But stay. Let's end this lowly racket. It is not meet for one to punch the other up the bracket. <laughs> I love you both, and Doug, and Adrian. Oh, good on Mr. Wayne, tell the girls. Yon Iris has a mean and hungry look. Thou couldst have foolished me. Her food is rumour. Iris, with all speed be gone, and from the canteen bring thee forth three cuppers for our ecstasy. <laughs> the quality of char cannot be strained. It droppeth from a teapot full of heaven into the cup beneath. <laughs> Lumped. Indeed I wouldst. Away, false crumpet. She's gone. Yes. If music be the food of love. Then compact be the philharmonic orchestra. Then this to me, mm. you are their conductor, unknowing what the players are playing at. It's this... Soft. Outside this portal, with one ear pressed tight against the keyhole, Iris kneels. In Firm of purpose, hand to me that gun. I'll with one shot put an end to this scourge. The gossip of Dame Rumour shall be silenced. 
Iris! Who calls? I know you stand without, quivering like a jelly. So I'm about to shoot you through the keyhole. <laughs> but ere I do, I have but this to say. Thou canst not mean. Indeed I do. Ye who have ears to shed, prepare to shed them now. <laughs> <laughs> 